I'm going to hit the top button once, and it's going to show us what time it is. If I hit it again, it's showing us the date. So I'm going to go through with you now how to read the time on the watch. Okay, hit the top button once to read the time, and you'll see on the left is the hours. And you'll see right there the light goes up to four, four, four o'clock. On the right is the minutes. And you'll see the first five numbers there are 10 through 50. Those are the tens digits. And then below that is one through nine. Those are the single digits. In this case, it's showing four lights on the top, which means 40. And in the single digits, it goes to one. So this is 41. So the time now reads 441. In the lower left, there's an AM indicator, and that light is not on, which means it's not AM. If that was lit, that would mean that it's 442 AM, but because it's not lit, it's PM. That's how you read the time. And to read the date, I'm going to hit the button twice, and you'll see that it's the date by the DT indicator on the lower left. When that's lit, you're seeing the date and not the time. The date is read like this. The numbers on the left that go through 1 to 12 indicate the month. On the right, you have the first five numbers as the tens digit, and then the numbers below it as the single digit. So you'll see the lights go up to seven here, which means it's July. And on the right, you see the 10 and the one lit up, which means it's 11. So it's showing that it is July 11th. All right, right now I'm gonna show you how to set the time. I hit the top button once, it shows that it's 448. Uh, 449, sorry. I hold the bottom button until the left side starts blinking. This means you can start to change and adjust the hour. So once I start hitting the button, you'll see the lights just keep blinking all the way down. Now, you'll see that AM just turned on. It was set to 4 p.m. We're going to set it to 9 a.m. So right there is set to 9 a.m. So I'm going to hit the bottom button again to shift the blinking to the right side, which means now I'm adjusting the minute. So right now it's showing that it's 49. I want to set it to 9.15 a.m. I have to hit the top button and scroll all the way from the 49 back down to 15. So I have to hit it that many times. You'll see the 10 is lit up. And then I'm scrolling down, 14, 15 right there. There's the 10 and then the 5. So that's showing 9.15 a.m. indicated by the a.m. lit up. Right now I'm going to adjust the date. So I want to hit the top button once to get the, the lights up. And then I'm going to hold the bottom button until we see blinking. Now I want to hit the bottom button again twice. And now we're on the date screen. And right here it's indicating that it's July and then 11th. We want to change the date to December 8th. So I'm going to hit the top button again to scroll down to the 12 to show that it's December. And then we're going to hit the bottom button again to shift the blinking to the right and we want to change the date to December 8th. So right here it's showing the 11th. I have to go through the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and all the way back around again to get to 8. 31, and then we're back at December 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. And now it's set. And now we're just going to wait for the blinking to stop and the lights to turn off and now it's set. Okay, so we successfully changed the time and the date to what we wanted. And right here, now it's showing that it's AM. So it's 9.25 AM. And then if I click it over, we see that it's the 12 and December 8th.